hey guys welcome back to my channel i am doing a little vlog style action um today i am actually going to be doing some makeup shopping at tj maxx um and then from that makeup shopping we'll go at home and do our face so um just continue to watch this is like a newer style video um that i'm doing so hopefully you guys like it um and just give me like your comments and everything like that down in the comments below um but uh before we get started let's make sure that you do subscribe to my channel and yeah um let's go ahead and get started shopping for makeup and whatever at tj maxx so entering TJ Maxx now and finna get to shopping. Just leaving TJ Maxx a little upset didn't find a lot of things that I'm gonna put you guys right here didn't find a lot of things that makeup wise that would obviously work with my skin complexion so a little upset about that um, but other than that um, ignore like my little dirty car but a couple of things um, I can do and are used um that i did are find in this haul um i did find this this makeup brush cleaning mat i thought it was super cool and cute at the same time because i do have like brushes that i really really need to clean um so i thought this would be cute i have this one in a pink and i also have one in a black so and this is from okay wait are these two different okay yeah so these are two different ones so this one's makeup brush cleaning mat um it was only $4.99 super cheap um not 100% sure where 
the other company is but oh well um and then the other one i have is a cosmetic brush cleaning mat from bc um and this was 4.99 as well um and this again this is in the black it does have like the little um suction things to have it stick so yeah super excited to see that because i have like a couple of different well i have like this cleaning thing that like you put in the uh, i don't know like a fishbowl looking one um and then i have the cleaning brush or the brush cleaning palette from precision beauty which that brand is really good um and this one was pretty cheap too so this one was $5.99 if you guys can see right there yeah $5.99 um so super excited about that as well um the only makeup-esque things oh I also forgot also cannot go wrong with real technique um brush uh no brushes but uh, um sponges um this was super cheap at $12.99 for four I thought that was pretty good um and also i did get a um real techniques brush a retractable kabuki brush so 2.99 for that and the only two makeup items unfortunately that i found was from bite beauty um this was in the shade caramelized um for 4.99 um, I thought that would be pretty good. And then I bought the Nicole Miller New York Truth or Bear Palette um, Nude Eyeshadow Palette. Um, I thought the colors in here were really pretty. Um, I just am very interested to see how they truly perform. But um, from the colors, it's really, really nice. It does have like five matte shades and the rest are shimmer. Um, so that's going to be very interesting, but I am super excited to try this bad boy out and it does come with a nice size mirror. So I am very excited about this and this was super cheap as well at $4.99 for it to be this cheap. I definitely, definitely want to see how this performs. So that was all I got from my little TJ Maxx, um, little shindig, um, Obviously, I wanted to find some more things. Um, I would definitely leave in the description box below how I like the cleaning mats. Um, I'll probably use like the pink and the black one today um, and probably use another one another time. Um, but I'll definitely let you know how I like the cleaning mats in the description box below. Um, we will go home and do a video on the few products I found and the rest of it. Um, I'll definitely make a full face of makeup. So see you soon. Um, we are again are trying out um, the some of the uh, products that I got from TJ Maxx um, a few days ago so I just wanted to kind of see how they perform how I like them and let you guys know to see if you should pick them up at TJ Maxx so um, let's go ahead and get started with the makeup so just a disclaimer just for I um, if you do hear like some sounds in the background I really and truly do apologize I am sitting like close to the window and I don't have like my sound guard um, in yet so I'm just going with what I got so um, we are already have our prime uh, prep skin um, our skin is not primed but we are going to go ahead and prime it now um, so to prime, so to prime, um, I am going in with the e.l.f. Um, Poreless Putty Primer. I really and truly do like this primer. Um, as you can see, I have been using it um, and I like it. Um, I do go in with about this much, um, give or take. Um, if I need more, um, I would definitely use more. But what I do find with this primer is that it definitely um, helps adhere the foundation to my skin a lot better. And it also definitely helps it hold the foundation too. So I go in with that. And then also what I like to do before um, putting it into my skin, I do like to go in with the Garnier Skin Active. This is the hydrating facial mist, which is amazing. Um, you can use this mist um, just to 
um, hydrates your skin. Um, my daughter loves like using it um, as well. She just likes spray um, in general, but I use it uh, with my primer. I use it uh, as I put my foundation on um, and just for a lot of different reasons. So you can definitely use this. So we're just going to go in with spray. So once that is in, I am going to go ahead and press that into my skin. Again, I just really love how this primer like feels on the skin. And again, it just really helps um, the foundation like really stick. So speaking of foundation, I am going to go in with the Maybelline Dream Cover, um, Full Coverage Protective Makeup. It does have sunscreen in it um, and it does have SPF 50. So um, I am in the shade, <laughs> I am in the shade 340 um capricorn oh no i'm in the shade 340 cappuccino i don't know why i say capricorn <laughs> uh, but i am in the shade 340 for sure which is cappuccino so um i do like uh the squeezy tube on this foundation um and it just really helps uh, a lot of people obviously say this is a dupe for um a cosmetics uh cc cream or i'm sorry bb cream but I like this because um, I do feel like it just gives me the same amount of coverage as I would anything else. So um, I did get this. It was like maybe $9.99, um, but I did get it from Target. Um, so if you guys don't have it, I would highly suggest you get it because it is really, really good. Um, so I am going to go in with um, this retractable Kabuki brush. Um, I did pick this up at uh, TG Maxx. Um, so this is one of the items. I cannot remember how much it was for, um, but this is one of the items I picked up. I have used this before. Um, and so, yeah, but I really like it. I love the retractableness of it, which is pretty cool. Um, and it's really good. Like you can take it to go. Um, I actually have used this before. Um, and I use it uh, on my Memphis trip. This is one of the, um, brushes I use for my foundation so really 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 great brush so we're just gonna go in and blend it out um so I just use it for the blending you can really use this kabuki brush like however you like um but I just like the blending of it so I just need like a close-up mirror so I'm just gonna go in with just the elf mirror like I use like use elf for my, uh, my blush so So now I am going to go in with the Dampen Beauty Blender. Um, in addition, so FYI, this is a Morphe Blending Blender uh, blending sponge. Um, I think it's like seven dollars. Um, I got it from Ulta, just FYI. Um, and I also will be going in with the Skin and Company Illuminating uh, Spray. So I do like to spray both sides, um, and I do like to blend with um, the flat side of this beauty blender. So I am just going to go in and just really, really press this foundation. Y'all, my hair looks a hot mess. Um, I just like literally put it into a ponytail uh, because my hair was like in a twist out and my twist out looked a very hot mess. And I was like, oh my God. Um, so I just put in into like a little ponytail but I'm just like a little disappointed because I'm just like man I thought I was gonna have like bomb hair looking like so good and my hair said no so it is what it is um so for concealer I am gonna go in with my um elf uh 16 hour camo concealer which are these two so um the lighter one is medium sand and then the uh, Darker one is deep cinnamon. So now you may ask, why do I have two? So I have two because one, um, my local Target uh, did not have, at the time, did not have the shade that matched me. And I know Target um, is launching more shades to, um, look, or is getting more of the 16 camo shades uh, that matches more skin tones. But at the time, my uh, local Target didn't. So that's why I picked up two. But also, another reason why is that the deep cinnamon matches my skin tone completely. So I love this. So when there are days, so when I don't do like a whole foundation, I just may want to cover up a couple of bags I may have under my eyes. I use this, blend it out, set it, and go. Um, and then I use um, the 16-hour 
camo in the shade medium sand to do more of a um really more of a brightening effect for me so when I do both obviously I mix them because I'm not gonna just keep this light shade under me so finishing powder um this is in the shade um medium deep which is amazing um a couple things why i like this i like it because the powder is very fine um so it helps to blend a lot better um but also another reason why i like it is because it gives like an added layer of coverage um if needed so just as a disclaimer, um, it does kind of change your foundation a little bit, not much. Um, so for me, it doesn't matter or it doesn't bother me as much rather. Um, and another or the third reason I can say I really like this powder is because there's times I will obviously wash my face, make sure everything is clean, um, put like a quick little primer on and put this powder on and go. Um, and it helps, definitely helps control shine. So definitely definitely really like this powder so i am going to use it to set um everywhere where i concealed uh, which are under my eyes my nose my chin all that fun stuff um and just like really set it down that's like eyelash extensions in my eyes um they have obviously fallen out uh quite a bit um and i go and get my eyelash extensions redone tomorrow um so like i feel like they're like starting to bother me a little bit so trying to not mess with it but it's messing with me so annoying okay so we're gonna put that to the side um and i am going to go ahead and take my brushes now um and i am going to use uh the beauty shop um brush right here um this is one of their blending brushes um and we're gonna go ahead and take that oh my gosh okay so i have my spoolie that my eyelash assistant girl gave me and i'm definitely about to spoolie my eyelash because i girl um so i am gonna go in with the um true complexion uh contour palette i do have this in the cream palette as well um as you can see y'all this is a very well used palette um i clearly have used both of these shades a lot um i do if you have noticed i only have um put powder on areas where i conceal so that is what i'm doing with this um i am not going to put powder right now on the rest of my face until after um i have fully contoured and really put this around so this just helps with me bronzing out my skin and just really doing it. So, and you can see my eyelash just fell off. Oh my God, okay. So annoying. So the reason why I did get eyelash extensions, just FYI, is because I just wanted them. There's no reason. I mean, I have pretty healthy eyelashes. I do um, I like to take care of my eyelashes, um, and they're pretty healthy. They're just not very long. So I obviously will have to always um, use mascara just to even lengthen them um, a little bit, but that's why I got it. Now that the face pretty much is done, um, the only thing we haven't done is obviously blush and highlight. Um, we are actually, before we go into the eyes, we are actually gonna go ahead and go into the eyebrows. And we're gonna use CoverGirl. Um, this is in the shade 
soft brown 710 and this is their ultra micro define um brow pencil all right guys so brows are now done um i am gonna go ahead and go in with luscious angel eyes um and this is an eyeshadow base primer um i am literally with this product you do not need much um so i'm just gonna put a little bit um on each eye um so we can go ahead and get started with uh, our eyeshadow um, and I'm just going to take this um, brush from uh, Eco Tools and this is the micro blending, blending brush micro blending brush and I'm just going to go ahead and just blend all of this greatness into my eye all right guys now it's time for eyeshadow we are going to go in with the uh, Nicole Miller New York um this is their truth or bear um eyeshadow palette um and this they say it's like an impeccable color that's designed for like the everyday um and that flatters all skin tones um and you should be able to blend contour and highlight and line the eyes with this so we shall see um how this goes but what i can say is that the shadows are beautiful um i do love the shadows but we are going to actually see how they perform so um, I honestly have done a little swatchy swatch with them. Um, however, with swatches, you can already always tell like how they will look um, and just like how they'll actually perform. So the swatches, I always say it doesn't really matter. So um, I am not 100% sure what I look I want to create with this, but we're going to create something. So um, I will take a blending brush. This is from Alamar Cosmetics, um, and I will go in probably let's see okay so i'm gonna go in with this i guess orangey brown uh whatever color this is so off of first pickup i am getting a lot of like kickbacks so we'll see doesn't really deter me as of right now but we shall see how that goes so I love that also love the fact that it comes with a mirror so we are going to use it um, and I'm just gonna take that um, color you just put it on as a transition and kind of see how that performs so I am putting it above my crease but we're transitioning it up into like the brow like y'all never be afraid to get into your brow like if like obviously don't destroy your brow but like never be afraid to get into it um so yeah so on first thought like the uh, the color is a, the color's not bad um it definitely on my skin tone it definitely looks a little bit different uh looks probably a little bit deeper um, it wasn't the pan, but it's like a really a pretty good transition color for me. Yeah, it's already done. And again, same thing, kickback. But I want to pick up that color and kind of probably try to put it into like my crease just to add like a, a, a warmth maybe to it. So we'll see how that looks. Okay, I actually like that. Actually, I do. Okay, let's do the other side before we do it. Um, so this pinky color, actually pretty good. So next, um, I need to add like some depth to my eyes. So um, I am gonna take this blending brush, for, forget honestly where I got it from, but we're gonna take this deeper brown um, and kind of see how that goes. But we're gonna take it and see. So this brown is not giving me color payout as I would have obviously hoped. Hmm. Okay, not my favorite color that I've used obviously so far in the um, in the palette, but we're we're gonna try to work with it. So overall, 
I did like the palette. Um, I just think, I mean, for $4.99, this wasn't a bad palette. You do get one, two, three, four. You do get 16 shades, um, which is really, really good. And I really do like love that. Um, however, I don't know. Like, I'm going to have to probably play with, like, some of the shades probably a little bit more. Um, we already know the brown. I didn't like it. It was trash. But, like, some of the shades, like, for instance, like, for me, like, these two shades from my skin tone, this looks very ashy. Overall, with this palette, I, with some of the shades that I used today, I really did, like, really appreciated it. Um, I really liked it. Um, I definitely think, like, for a natural look, it's, it's really nice. However, with that being said, um, I do feel that the color payoff with some of the colors I use in this palette um, is not what I like or expect. So, so we are really about to wrap up the makeup. We just have a few things left to do. Um, and one thing is blush. Second thing, highlight and mascara. So I am taking, this is like the same mirror I've been using like the whole video. Um, but this is the e.l.f. blush palette. This is in um medium to dark or just maybe it's just dark but it is this blush palette and i do like to go in with these two and just mix it together and put blush so this is in the shade black ist um and because again i do have lash extensions um i'm not going to put it on my lash extensions especially since i have an appointment tomorrow um, i'm just going to put it on my bottom lash so, um, the Master Chrome, and I, this is in the sh uh, shade Molten Topaz, um, uh, which I am struggling to open. I had it all in my hand. It's a shade that I like to use, um, and I feel like it's a really good shade. Yes, I could have used, yes, Molten Topaz is very similar to, um, the Black Radius Contour Palette highlight that's in there, but... I just like the Molten Topaz. Not saying that the one in black in the Black Radiance is bad. I just like the Molten Topaz. Like, that's just it. Like, don't come for me in the comments. We're going to go back into with our spray uh, facial mist. Um, and we're going to spray one more time. Ooh, love it. Love it, love it. But not least, we only have lips left. And I am taking just like my go-to lip combo. Of recently um, I am taking biograph biograph B um, in the shade timber and I am just taking that to align my lips has definitely been like my go-to like brown or nude I've definitely been a fan of that and I am going to take this bite uh, beauty lipstick in the shade caramelized and I did get this from TJ Maxx um, and I am going to take that and I like it, but, um, to add like a little gloss to my lip, I am going to use Alamar Cosmetics. Um, this is their, uh, Mother Pearl Gloss in the shade Tresso. And I'm just going to take that and gloss it up. Okay, so that is how I got my uh, look for today. Um, again, this is just a really great um, natural look um, that if you still want it to be like look put together um, and not spend a lot of money, that's kind of how I did it. I pretty much used all drugstore products. So as you can see, very affordable um, and the look, the coverage is just, I love it.